food for thought. Well, hey, stranger. So far, I've had the pleasure of sharing some of my little adventures in France. But then in 2020, I came back to Canada, right before COVID took the planet hostage. And like a lot of people, that's when I started investing in the stock market, which is how I found Plantex. Hello? Christian. It's Sean from Plantex. Pleased to meet you, Sean. Great to meet you as well, Christian. By the way, how did you find Plantex? Well, I was looking for ethical investments, so I looked at electric vehicles, drones, plant-based food, and of all the companies I found in the plant-based space, Plantex seemed to be the most aligned with the idea of making the world a better place. Wow, I love that, Christian. You've really put your heart and soul into all the emails you sent our way about how we can improve our YouTube channel and everything like that. Would you be interested in joining the team? You're messing with me. Not at all. You'd be a great addition to the team. But I'm not vegan. That doesn't matter. We're not a cult. We're educators. And we welcome everyone who wants to learn about a plant-based lifestyle, sustainability, health, wellness, or all the new brands and products entering the space. So if introducing more plants to your life is important to you, you'll have to meet Adam, Julia, and Sarah. We'll get you there. Wow. I, I didn't even think I was going to hear from you, let alone be asked to join the team. Everything happens for a reason. Welcome aboard. Wow. That was almost a year ago. And today, they really do feel like family. Adam has felt like my big brother. Julia, my big sister. And Sarah, my little sister. As for Alex, our CMO, I sometimes call her mom. Who knew that vegans would be so kind and committed to making the world a better place. Food for thought. By the way, there's a video called Sean Dollinger's Journey to Plantex, which is about Sean's journey to becoming vegan. Sometimes I forget, nobody's born vegan. Check the iCards for a link. See you next week.